Hi people, it's Ian here, aka Hura Mantra, and we're off to get a camera, so I thought I would um, take you with me and um, share my adventure. You know, one of the things that it, um, that it says on YouTube, advice to those people who are starting their own channel is, in the early days, don't go buy an expensive camera equipment. Just make do with what you've got. Use your phone, it's perfectly good enough for what you're gonna need. Well, I'm gonna ignore that advice and I am going to get a camera because there's only so much you can do with um, a smartphone as good as they are. And I'm finding that um, there's times I wanna be able to zoom in on something and I can't. And I can't see what it is I'm, you know, what I'm actually focusing on. So I think it's time to upgrade. And um, I'm a kind of person over the period of years that I start lots of projects and buy lots of equipment. And sometimes I forget some of the things that I've got because I was thinking, oh, I'm going to need, um, I've got a selfie stick. So I'm now going to need a tripod, uh, you know, to put the camera on so I've, I can better control where it's pointing. And then something in the back of my mind says, oh, I thought maybe, yeah, I think maybe I got a tripod. So I go rummaging through the back of my cupboards to find I've got three tripods. One little Joby Gorilla gripper pod, so you can like uh, put your camera on top and then wrap the legs fit around a tree so you can do, you know, really, really odd shots. And then one sort of desk tripod and then one real heavy duty professional uh, tripod because in in years gone by, I decided I wanted a, a real good DSLR, which I then used for about all of 10, 10 weeks, and then it went to the back of the cupboard. So I'm actually taking that with me today, and I'm going to um, a part exit, get a few bucks off uh, my new camera, which is going to be a Canon G7X Mark II. Seems to be what everybody's using on YouTube. It seems really good, and they're quite small. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping it's going to be a lot of fun to use. So I will show it to you when I get it. Uh, they haven't they haven't been released very long, so there's not a great deal of them around at the minute. And um, the store that I'm going to get this camera from is in Cardiff, and they only had one. So I'm thinking now I should have reserved it before I've trekked down because knowing my luck when I get there I'll find that they've just sold it. Anyway, too late now. Uh, so I'll just have to take my chances. I've picked absolutely the wrong time of day to be going into Cardiff because it's now 20 to 4. Peak traffic's building up. It's going to be a nightmare. But hey, what do you do? Okay, so I'll catch you in a bit and show you what I've got if I get it. Okay, catch you later. Well, I'm still traveling. I've hit my first bottleneck of traffic uh, as I am making my journey in the middle of rush hour. And um, yes, this journey brings back memories because I used to work in Cardiff for many years and I've forgotten what it's like when you come to a a bottleneck in the traffic and you're just stuck there and you're not moving at all and once you haven't been doing that for a while you quickly realize how impatient it makes you feel I'm just hoping there aren't going to be too many more otherwise I'll find I'll get to Cardiff and the, the store will be closed but uh, making this journey is bringing back memories because this is the journey I used to make when I worked in Cardiff day in day out and um, I'm looking ahead of me, seeing the, the carriageway I have to come up to come back home, and it's not looking good. So probably going to be out for a few more hours than I thought. Oh well, such is life. Anyway, do you like my sunglasses? These are given to me by a very nice man called Ray. Um, I. I get all my tattoos done in the same place um, in Tribune Tattoo at Killian and when I've been there several times I've bumped into a, a guy there and uh, we've been chatting and the last time I saw him 
I said, oh, I really like your sunglasses, can I have a look? What are they, where did you get them from? Etc. 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 And he said, oh, do, you, do you like them? I said, yeah, I think they're really nice. Yeah, you can have them. No, I said, no, I couldn't. Yeah, you can, really. Uh, he said, I've got several pairs of these. And he says, you're very welcome to have them. Uh, and I'd like you to have them. So, my free van sunglasses, which are really comfortable. Um, they're slightly tinted. And when you look out, the world looks like a wonderful place to be, which, of course, it is. Um, and many of us don't have a great deal to moan about. Well, I know I don't. So I'm practicing being thankful for all the good things in my life. And not to get too hung up on the minor inconveniences. Now, I mustn't forget that there's speed cameras along this road. Because if I don't, an expensive camera is going to be even more expensive. Right, I'm signing off again for a bit. Later. Here we are, Cardiff Museum. What is the one next to it? Okay, I'm now going to take you under the underpass where there's some live music occurring. So I'll let you have a listen. I just realised you have to be quite careful where you're pointing the camera because some people don't like it. They get a little bit upset. That is the advantage of using a mobile phone. Because people can have a conversation with doing some FaceTime with. I don't think it's going to be quite so easy if I'm trying to do this with a camera. What do you think? And how would you feel if you thought somebody was capturing you on their camera? Hmm. All these things to think about. energy and everybody wandering around going about their business everybody with a purpose everybody off doing something for some reason or other so here we are Queen Street, busy, busy, busy. I'm just trying to figure out which is the quickest way to get to where I need to go. I really like Cardiff, it's a very, it's a very nice city and it's lovely to wander around. They've spent a lot of money in investment uh, and it's really pleasant. I think most people who come to Cardiff really like it and would come back again. So, I think I'm downwind of the Lush cosmetic shop because the smell is just amazing. I think I might have to pop in there and see what, uh, what's, what's about. I need some, I think. Although, as I remember, I think the stuff in there is going to be almost as expensive as the camera. So perhaps not. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a, a right here and go through the, the precinct. Here we are in St. David's Centre.
in the Cathedral of Consumerism. So many lovely things to buy. So many things that appeal to our senses. To wear, to smell, to hold, to use. And in my time, I think I've been one of the worst of them. You know, when you're young and you're obsessed with brands, well, when I wasn't so young, not so many years ago, I was obsessed with brands. And I would spend oh, many, many minutes staring into the window of watches of Switzerland, drooling over the Rolex watches. But then, when I managed to get one, and then another through someone leaving me a watch in their, in their will, I found that I didn't really want them. No. Sometimes the anticipation of getting something is much better than the realisation of having it. Here is the very shop and the very watches. See? Rolex. I still like them. I just don't need to have them anymore. I've moved on to other things. Like cameras. Stick with me, shouldn't be too long now. And here I am in Morgan Arcade, home of the camera shop. So I just need to find it now. Well, I don't need to find it because it's not lost. I do know where it is. It's a bit more quiet here, thank goodness. I don't know what the helicopters are all doing, but there's loads of them out there. So, a ton of manoeuvres, I guess. There we are, camera shop, just ahead on the left. Camera Centre UK. So, let's go and see what we can see. Yay, we have camera and £300 part exchange off my old one. I'm very happy. I'm off now to meet a mate for a coffee and something to eat and a chat and so I'll catch you later and show you my cam. Well there it is I promised I would show you the camera that I got so here we are I'm really pleased with it well I'm pleased with how it looks in the box and how it looks in real life I can't do a review of it I have no idea how it works I just managed to find the power button to get the little front bit out so I think I will have a little fiddle around with it now and see if I can get it to do anything at all. But it's been a really nice day and um, yeah, I was really pleased with the trading I got from my old camera and a very nice man gave me a 64 gig Class 10 SD card for half price. So wasn't he nice? Right, well, I'm so tired and I am very well fed and very sleepy. So I'm going to go now and um, catch you guys again soon. Bye bye.